Hey guys, Jake here. So this is uh, an update. I've gotten some of it done. Let's fix that tree a bit. Um, but I've gotten most of, pretty much everything done for the new next dial. So there it is, pretty much all done. Um. Yeah, so I can't wait to start. I probably won't be starting though for a bit after until a little bit after Christmas. I'm just not buying any models right now and saving money, so I plan on having a big order right before Christmas and that order there will probably be what I'm gonna have for Chris like what I'm gonna use for the stop motion. So I plan on getting a service truck and a uh or a Chevy pickup and a couple more dump trucks and a load two or three more loaders and stuff, so I got a bunch more stuff I want that I'm probably going to get, so I got all this done um I've changed the name on Facebook um and my YouTube channel so, if you're looking it up or anything, that's what it is Ingersoll's, Ingersoll uh, Stop Motions now, so just in case you're looking it up on Facebook or something that's just for my reasons and I felt like changing it, so don't be asking and stuff why and stuff, so if I feel like telling you I'll tell you, but as of right now I'm just not telling a bunch of people, so but uh I think this stop motion is gonna be probably one of the best. I've took a lot of care into putting it together. I've made this fence here, get the fence all put in. So and then all the lines I did one by one to make sure they work nice. But uh if you give me a second I can put this down and I can turn on all the lights. Where's the other one? So I can just go find the other switch. Afraid, so it's harder to get to turn on. So, here, just give me one second here. Let me flip the power switch. All right, so I got my street lamps in. They put off a their LEDs. So they put off some good lights. And then over here at the store, they blink, but I probably won't have them blink in the stop motion. They're just blinking right now. And uh, I got a little bit some lights behind the sign there, so it kind of looks nice like you can actually kind of see the sign but let me switch this over so it's not blinking I can show you it without blinking there there's the lights with them just on that's probably what I'll do for the stop motion and then I I have a tree that lights up I have a tree that has Christmas lights in it 150th scale so I'm gonna it's about that size there it's hard to see that is with that size so I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put that one in like I'll have that one in at first because I think the one that has the lights on it have snow I just have to it has snow on it so I just have to take it out I have it packed away somewhere so I have to find it take it out but I'll leave it like that while the trucks are getting brought in and then once it snows I'll switch them out so I'll have that tree on and that on, that on. but I plan on doing one having like a big sale so the night like really early in the morning we'll have Ingersoll Enterprise come in and have to plow the plow the uh, parking lot really early so that all the customers can get in early in the morning to get their stuff. So we'll have one that will be like night and then halfway through it we'll switch over to morning. But uh, yeah, I've pretty much done a lot in the last little bit. I pretty much went off the good. I haven't uploaded many videos. I haven't I haven't really done much on my Facebook page. I just was sitting here the other night and got some Bristol board out and I was like, you know what, I want to do a snow removal now. Because that morning I woke up and there was a little bit of snow, it snowed. And I was heading to school on the bus and I could see the loader plowing the uh, parking lot heading to school. So there was like a big box plow and everything. So I can't wait to get that. 
all done, but I don't know if I might, I might not have a box plow on mine because I have another thing I want to add to the parking lot that's going to take up a little bit more room, and that's kind of a surprise, so, because I don't know if it's going to work out or not, so, if it works out, I will have a video on it, but if it doesn't, then I'll probably make a box plow, because of as of right now, if it goes in, it will probably end up, end up going, turn the light back on, now that we're done, it'll probably end up going about right here, or right here, and that was one of those smart four parking spots. So um, it will take up a little bit more room. So I'll have to use just a smaller, like the normal size of the bucket. Because of right now, I don't know what I'm going to get for a loader. I'm looking at the L60. or well, Actually, that's a lie. At first, I was looking at the L90. And it was not It was a nice loader, but then I was I noticed that black cylinders. And kind of find out they were plastic. That's just a whole other story that I would... Because I could sit here and talk 20 minutes about that. How mad that makes me. How they put plastic cylinders on a model. So I'm probably not. I can't, I'm not going to get that for sure. Because it would just be too much work to switch them over to metal. So um, I'm not going to get that. So I'm looking at the L60 right now. For your Volvo. Because I'm really into Volvos now. So I'm going to get the Volvo. I'm probably going to get a Volvo loader. As, rather the 150. Which is a pretty big one. To use. But it might not work as well in this parking lot. Maybe. And then. That or the L60 um, because that one has all the custom attachments with it and everything, so I can use it in different stop motions and stuff for different things. But um, I also plan on getting a new skid steer. I have that little one back there, which I don't use, which I'm probably not going to use because if I get the Chevy pickup there, that's going to have that the Bobcat with it. But uh, I'm just going to do a quick little collection update of all the models I have left. I've actually sold a bunch. So. Starting right here, we have the dust, or the painted, the painted, uh, Mac, custom painted white, uh, it's not too bad looking, um, I would like to repaint it maybe, but, uh, probably won't, cause there's a nice blue and a red, there's a, they got Max and Reese, a lot new, a lot, of, uh, a lot more that it looks like, they have this same shape and everything, just different colors, so I'm probably gonna get a blue and a red one. And then there's the new big huge low board, the big huge transport that just came out with the three axles in the back, the Mac. So I'm getting that for sure. And then over here we have the Weathered 470, one of my favorites. Uh, I had an offer come up on this, and I almost sold it. And then I came downstairs and I looked at it and I said, I ain't gonna sell this. I love it. Um, with the 850, that's for sale. Probably gonna get rid of that. I don't really like it as much as I thought I would when I got it. I liked it maybe for four days, and ever since then I haven't liked it. The uh, 315 SJ, I don't like that either. I'm just not that kind of a, I'm not a big backhoe fan, so probably going to get rid of that. That's for sale too, but I might be selling those two together. It's one of my friends, I've been talking to him about that, but it's undecided right now. So it's right now it's for sale if any of you want to buy it buy them just uh message me on facebook on my page and i can we can talk prices uh then we have the oshkosh two axle i've i almost bought the egg i passed up a great deal for the three axle one uh i almost got it for 60 bucks all that was wrong didn't have the box i almost bought it but the last minute i said no but i i regret it i should have went for it um that you're gonna see in the plowing or in the snow removal, but that's not gonna be used for the parking lot. We we'll use that for the road. Uh, the A25C. Um, a lot of people have asked me. Uh, one person actually offered me this, and I declined that instantly because I, I don't know what it is about that truck. There's not much detail or anything, but I just love it. We have the low bed. That there I'll keep forever too, and the little trailer. And then upstairs I have my in my room I have my D8, but. That's all my models right now. And then my house is in the back. But yeah, so that's all I got right now. I'm pretty much rebuilding. I would like to sell these and get a new truck or a new dozer, like a D5 or a D6, one of those little ones. Because I I have my big D8. And I would and I would like to get the new Cat 660. 
because I really love the color scheme in it and how the chrome stands out really good. So that's another option. And then there's the new Kentworth that just came out that I might get. So there's a lot of models that I want right now. But yeah, so um, other than that, actually moving on, I've done a lot down here. Like on the other side of things to the diodes. So I've added on to my workbench. So before I just had this little honey thing. And right now I'm kind of working on a custom right now. So not, it's gone along too good. Not too good there. Well, I mean, when I'm done, it might look nice. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I just started working on it. But I got the... I've expanded on. Made it a lot bigger, so... It's easier for working on stuff. And then up here, I got my new tool... Toolbox, but I've put like a... Almost like a shelf thing. And then I have an LED light underneath. So I can shine down on here and work. And I've also got a tripod now. I bought that a couple days ago. I really like this tripod because it... <laughs> get it off it uh it can wrap around things and hold it still hold it and if you give me one second it you can shorten it so that one's smaller than the other you, they just pop out and yeah so that's pretty much it I've also gotten some more a white piece of Bristol board that's gonna go across there but I should I took it off because I was working on the store but this is it. Really, all I have left to do is bring the machines in and start working. But uh, that probably won't be until after Christmas, unless I'm to go buy a loader right now. But as of right now, I really don't want to. I'd sooner wait and save, and then because right after Christmas is my birthday, so I'll have even more money. So I'll have enough to get a bunch of things. I would, I really would like to get the the $122 Volvo excavator. That and the 336 and the 323 are my three excavators that I really want. But uh, I have a lot more stop motions in mine come spring. Um, I have a highway dive on mine. I might do. But um, I really like more sticking to like uh, work like road stuff and stuff. So like, uh, like road construction and paving and a little bit of like um, septic tank work. I have a really good septic tank. Uh, system in and then a new pump station went down the road so one of my friends was working that one of my friends was working that so I spent the day with him so I might do a pump station diode where we have to put the pump station in and everything that'd be a nice long one so uh yeah there's a lot more there's a lot of stuff going on in my mind right now but uh I just thought I'd make this video to make tell you guys that uh you know I'm not quitting stop motions I'm definitely staying in them and I'm um, back pretty much. So I had that little break there where I couldn't even really look at my dial box. I started it one night and just gave up halfway through. But uh, now I know for a fact I'm back and I'm excited to be back and ready to go. Um, I've been talking with another one of my friends the last couple of days. He might be getting in with me but we, as uh, in my stop motion. So that should be exciting. That's not official yet. We're still discussing that and talking. But, uh. He's talking about buying some models and getting some stop motions going. But uh, he might partner up with me or I don't know. But as of right now, that's not official. So we'll just have to see how it goes. If that, I might have another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.